What a day this is for Luton Town. The lowest ranked side left in the Adobe Women's FA Cup, drawn against a women's Super League team in Brighton, who begin their year trying to avoid what would be a massive upset. It's David versus Goliath in this cup tie as the players take the knee, showing solidarity against all forms of discrimination and we are underway Luton of the fifth tier of the women's game looking to cause an upset against women's Super League side Brighton and it's Brighton who are on the attack from the off and Katie Robinson found herself in a good position Corner's taken short, here's Kohlberg Robinson wanting it in space. Instead, the ball is delivered into the box and the back heel hits the post and, and it's fired across by Bergsman and Luton get away with it. Lasada with a cheeky back heel that so nearly ended up in the back of the net. Bergsman. I delivery and it's poked in by Poppy Patterson but the flag was up and it won't count it was free kick was flicked on by Mackay. He's uh, gone down. Brighton will try and make Luton pay here as it's saved by Butler. Ziggy Otti's effort. Again, it was awkward because the ball bobbled up. Here's Lee in the penalty area. Patterson and Zigiotti. Great save by Butler. But on the rebound, Brighton finally break the deadlock. Sarri was alert and first to it after Butler make what was a fine save to tip the ball onto the bar. The uh, tricky Sarri. Finally. Breaking the deadlock for Brighton. We have dominated possession, as you'd expect. Is Lee getting the better of Mackay? Find Sarri, the goal scorer. Patterson on the overlap. And Butler fails to claim it the first attempt. Nearly drops it onto Bremer. Butler recovered well. Robinson looking to use her speed. Wade got a touch, but Robinson still with the ball and again bounces fortunately to her Kohlberg's cross in here's Bremer and the simplest of headers for Lasada who flicks it in and Brighton double their lead Vicky Lasada found by a good cross as Bremer got to the byline and all she had to do was hit the target and she did so not too much of a celebration from the Brighton captain but they are 2 nil in front five minutes at a time 
at the end of this first half. We're into those five minutes now. Lasada. Bremer. Hits the target and forces the save from Butler. Again, it bounced awkwardly right in front of the goalkeeper. But Butler kept her eye on it. Made sure that she tipped the ball away from goal. Bergsman. Lovely ball to pick out Ziggiotti. And she... Plays it across for Sari to get her second of the match. But the offside flag is up again. And it won't Amy! count. Amy! A second goal Amy! that Brighton have seen chalked off because of Amy! the offside flag. Into the final minute of our time. Here's Lee again. Picks out the run of Patterson. It's a good delivery and... Well, the header that Bremer threw herself at, just off target. Quadruple change at half-time for Brighton. So five changes made in total, four for Brighton, one for Luton. Blacksley wasn't able to fully clear it, and here's a big chance for Pinto! And she does get on the score sheet. Tatiana Pinto. Off the bench. And into the goals. Lovely weighted pass into the path of the Portuguese international. And it was a cool finish. Dealt with the bobbling ball well. And Brighton extend their lead Torres Dottier Kulberg here's Pinto cleared away by Wade Mackay able to send it further forward Lee Mengwen Simmons with a nice through ball and the Sarda again Good save by Butler, who has been tested by some good shots this afternoon, and she's been equal to many of them. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, with a nice ball. And this is an opportunity for Luton to commit some players forward. Sanders can't bring it under control. Lasada. Now Bremer sees in cross and Butler came and didn't get to it. And Turland makes it four. Beating the goalkeeper to the teasing cross. And Elizabeth Turland, Brighton's top goal scorer, gets her ninth of the campaign. And she may not score an easier one. Quality of changes that Melissa Phillips was able to make during the half-time break. Four substitutes coming on. Three of them internationals. Vicious strike from Reigns, forcing a very good save from Amy Butler. That would have been some goal. Simmons, nice flick. Simmons into the area. Lovely cross and the finish from Bremer off the bar. And then Lasada's effort is blocked. Still the danger not clear. And he's now. Well, this is a fabulous bit of skill. Cross into the box. Finding Bremer, who hits the crossbar and there's a real scramble in the Luton area <laughs> it could be a disappointment for 
Brighton boss, Melissa Phillips. It will be the quality from the set pieces. It hasn't been great from the WSL side. That's a better delivery into the back post and it's headed in by Tatiana Pinto, who gets her second of the afternoon and Brighton's fifth. And Pinto able to peel off her marker and head it over the head of Amy Butler. Bergsman. Yeah, yeah, run it forward. Short pass though towards Simmons. And now this is the chance for Luton as they break forward. And the shot off target. It opened up for Dickens, who used her pace to get away from the Brighton defenders. It wasn't a bad effort, tried to pick out the top corner. First two at one. Let's kick, it's uh, oh, oh. miscontrolled. And here is Bremer to make it six. And she does make it six. Pauline Bremer on the score sheet, finally. She's had some good chances. And Bremer sends Brighton into the fifth round with a very comfortable victory. A professional job done by Brighton, who were under pressure in this David versus Goliath tie. Finishes Luton Town nil, Brighton and Hope Albion six.